Hello everyone, welcome back to a new Hearthstone cast video. Today we're going to be having a look at in the top right spawning as the red Protoss player it will be creator. And in the bottom left spawning as the blue Zerg player it's going to be DPG's Dark. We saw creator open up with a 13 pylon. We've discussed it before on this channel, the difference between the 13 pylon and the 14 pylon. The 13 pylon forces you to chrono boost. Uh, those workers immediately after you build the pylon the moment to the 14 and the 15 probe and it will result in about five to ten less minerals uh, <clears throat> in the game while with the 14 pylon double probe um, you can get just as fast a probe down there it's just it's objectively better to play 14 pylon double probe still be able to block your opponent with a, a a probe that goes out before you even start the pylon rather than doing what he did now so it's slightly worse but it's a little bit easier and it's way more comfortable to play and really the difference is is literally like five minerals so there's still a lot of protoss players who do do it but it actually isn't quite optimal we're gonna see his follow-up is going to be that 20 nexus 20 cyber core and then 21 gas on dark side well this is obviously 2000 atmosphere there's two options you can take as a third base. There's this base and there's this, this base. And Dark is opting for that line base. So perhaps a slightly uh, longer attack path. Imagine if you walk over here as Dark with like a Queen Roach or whatever. It's obviously a lot shorter from this triangle formation base if you want the first three bases there. So this is giving us a little bit of information. Of course, he can still Roach Queen walk. Don't get me wrong. It's still fine to take this path. Uh, yeah, go go the long way around basically and end up in the natural um <clears throat> but yeah it's it's maybe a little bit less likely see so uh, oh this is what we call a a 20 hatchery because this hatchery gets built at 20 supply this means he will need to delay one of his queens well actually both of his queens for a bit and one of his queens will be delayed by so much that it can be very difficult to hold things like a double adept push out now uh, <clears throat> in order to make sure that you don't get destroyed by the double adept push out what you can do is uh, is to try and have some links on the other side of the map so he's gonna try to run by some links forcing the second adept to stay home i like this chrono boost here by creator i think this is actually a very very good call that he does this um and the reason why this keeps the second adept at home is the moment this moves out you're either going to be able to do counter damage or you're gonna force this adept to come home. So now we'll see Dark go in. He'll move in. He's building four links at home. He should really go in at this point though. Dark? Dark? A little bit late because now this adept is almost done. We see these two uh these two adepts going somewhere. Now this is what I was talking about. If he was fast, there would be no queen whatsoever in the main base. And we're still only working with a single queen over here as well. So queen count is just so extremely low. Speed finishes very rapidly at 326 speed timing. That is extremely fast. He needs to cancel, go for two drones. Um, he killed one Ling already. If he gets two drones here in the end, this is semi-okay, okay? okay? It, it's worse than you ideally want it, especially because Wait, okay, no, he does have a have a third adept. I thought if he didn't have a third adept, that could be big trouble, but he does have a third adept. This Overlord goes down. Dark did not anticipate that for whatever reason, and we see a tiny supply block right now coming for him. This adept not in the... What? Why did he try the wall with a battery rather than just keeping the adept in the wall? I don't quite understand that. I don't think he was in danger of dying, even if he tried to sacrifice all of his links for that adept. Like, I mean, that's a good trade. If he tries to lose 16 links, then you can just wall behind it. So, <clears throat> a little bit of a weird call there by our good friend Creator, who's going to be going into a 3-gate Glaive build off of double Stargate units. So, we see that Oracle coming out as well, 3rd base now coming down at 420-ish, 425, which is kind of late, and maybe it will give some information here for Dark, who is trying to scout these things. He's trying to figure out, hey, this base timing is a little bit late. What is going on? He's going to get an Evolution Chamber, and most likely will add a Baneling Nest as well. This Oracle finds a little bit of damage. Three drones, that's not a little bit of damage, that's way more than it actually should get. However, if this Oracle ends up dying, that is not worth it whatsoever. So, um, now Dark can actually skip uh, spores in at least one of the bases and he's going to do that in the natural i do like that we see plus one starting already baneling nest okay i was getting afraid he really does need that baneling nest eventually we see two adepts shading back into their little uh 
their little choke. This battery could get taken out, but we don't see Dark wanting to commit to that. Probe almost was in danger, gets pulled back. You saw Dark was reacting already. It's a solid instincts there out of Dark. He's managing to survive the early game with a very, very solid and a powerful drone count. We're already at, at 51. We see two, three more on the way. He has a quick plus one, which is such a big asset to carry into that mid game. Uh, he has the bailing nest, which is ready. We now see these scouts coming out. And right now, he only saw three, four adapts, but he, he figured it out. He's building 24 more links. He's building three bailing links. I believe that if this was just a five adapt move out, he would try to crush those adapts and encounter attack perhaps with some bailing link. But as he sees right now, this is real Glaive Adept. That's not going to be a finisher. How many Adepts is here? This is only nine Adepts hitting at the six minute mark. It's extremely late. And um, we do have a Stasis Ward being constructed in the main base, but Dark is good enough to figure out what was going on. Okay, yeah, that should be a cancel for sure. We have five more Overlords on the way for Dark, who's uh, looking to be a uh, massively supply block. This will be a four Baneling Morphin and try to run by into that third base. Really a classic Dark move, honestly. He does this so much. I would be very surprised if he doesn't try to do that here. Usually what he does is he'll keep the Bane links here, then he'll try to move with his Ling Bane or with some other links over here, and then he'll walk those into your, your mineral line. Two over here, two over here. Yep, there we go. The Bane link morph and there go the links. Oh my god. I studied him a fair amount for my uh, World Team League match against him, and I saw him do this a lot of the time, especially when he opens with plus one melee. Now, we do have to know that this needs to do a little bit of damage. There we go. This is distraction. This is distraction. We see an adept Morphin back. Creator's paying attention. So this shouldn't be able to do too much. Good defense here by Creator, who's up two workers right now going into a mid game. Dark's layer isn't done yet. Seven minutes into the game. His fort base has no drones whatsoever. He's going to be going into roaches. Oh, I, I didn't really notice this, but two extra Stargates went down. I did notice the two extra Stargates, but I kind of forgot about them. I was like, oh, it's two Stargates after this. He's going to be going into a heavy Void Ray count, and he will be looking to, to get into carriers from here. Mm, and, and all of those units are pretty good against Roaches. I'm, I'm not sure if you guys knew yet, but the Roach doesn't actually shoot up. Uh, contrary to some Zerg's belief. Uh, ah, Super Battery kind of gets... Uh, Triggered a bit too quick there. Oversaturation on the third base, so losing five, six workers won't hurt too much. Needs a fourth probably at this point as well. I'm not sure what I think about the triple stargate. I think double stargate faster fourth base would have been preferred, but... I mean, he's looking to be in a fantastic position. Here's a fourth base for creator as well. Still at a solid drone count. We see Dark going into infestation pit. He's getting a second evolution chamber. So most likely is going to be for those range upgrades. And we have attempt number two. However, creator, um, <clears throat> he knows Dark all too well. Has a lot of cannons at this third base. Has an Oracle even chilling over there. That's a crap ton of roaches, by the way, for such a, a late timing. And now the void rays get revealed. And this should be, a, you know, a, a, a moment for dark where he goes oh my god this is this is actually kind of dangerous and these void rays are moving forward i'm surprised they don't have plus one though and he's just he's just gonna move in with them he tries to fight but he sees there's a crap ton of queens of course zergs tend to build a lot of queens and uh, dark is no different nine queens here three more on the way we see fungal uh, sorry pathogen glance is being researched right now so these investors will spawn with a little bit more energy when they do get built we have an overseer on the way as well and why that is, I don't know. Maybe he wants to try and take out an observer that he believes is somewhere. Or maybe he wants to go for a quick scout to try and figure out, like, what's the path? Where are you going, buddy? No, I know where he's going. He's going to be able to pick off those adapts, though, which is already nice. Denies the fourth base. Crater just semi-patrolling with his... Uh, his Void Rays looking for damage, and but also looking for defensive things, right? This is a defensive squad, this is an offensive squad, so we have two squads, really. Here come the Investors, and we're going to be moving into a... I don't want to call it a late game yet, but at least a, a later game. But we're moving into the end game right now, even though both players are just on four bases. Investors, Carapace on the way here. Surprised we're not seeing any range upgrades while he has a significant amount of range units. We see 10 roaches, 6 ravagers on the way. 
And he has, of course, uh, 13 queens, adding two more. So that's going to be 15 queens. You'd expect range upgrades to get research at this point. I understand that perhaps he, he, he doesn't quite have the gas for it, but it seems pretty important if you, if you have close to 30, 40 range units that you do try to do something with them, try to upgrade them a little bit. Burrow's being researched here, most likely for those investors. We see these three adepts are being picked off by the plus two links. Links, of course, doing a lot of damage on, once they get those extra upgrades. Now that the hive is finished, I wouldn't be surprised to see adrenal glands. I'm curious to see if we'll go for plus three or actually one of them range upgrades. 20 bane links uh, get morphed and all of them will have to be canceled because creator is like, hey, wait a second. That's a lot of links there on the right side. What if these bad boys turn? into banelings that could be a, a potential issue we see a, an aggressive move out coming out of dark and uh, get spotted by a stalker good map vision here by creator who every single time there's a move out manages to figure it out now there's three gateways here but with ravagers you might be able to just burst those down cannon is also being hit by those biles yeah it's it's nice to be here but uh, yeah air units do kill no anti-air so uh Perhaps the queens and investors need to, to jump into action here. Neural Parasite is about to finish up. We have four carriers joining the fight here. Second gate is about to fall as well, opening up this wall a little bit. Perhaps the Baneling soon will try to make a move. Difficult to guess though, if they will. So a four Baneling uh, run by here was being uh, killed by a Stasis Ward. Now this Adept and the Mothership will end up cleaning that up we see a robotics facility on the way finally we'll be able to get some some mobile detection that isn't an oracle observer should be very helpful at clearing creep plus two finally finishes look at this seven carriers 12 void rays in and only now he starts plus two we actually do have those melee upgrades over the range upgrades this is and he's gonna he's gonna go into ultra so i guess it makes a little bit of sense in that way but Still surprising to me. There's no attack upgrades whatsoever. Creator really lacking in the upgrades. Here come the investors. Oh, this is risky now that there's investors out. This type of move is dangerous. These three banelings are going to kind of act like an overlord and spot that. Good force field. Not good enough though as the, the, the banelings and links can just move through. Not the greatest micro out of dark who's uh, kind of messing around with his own... With his own Bane Links, he's end up getting 9 workers and takes out a bunch of the cannons, a bunch of the static defense. Oh, 5, 4, 3, I think 3 or 4 of those Void Rays got taken over. 6 Void Rays have gone down so far this game, so good move there coming out of Dark, who uh, I think is in a small lead at this point. He, he has good control of the map with his Investor Ravager, he's going into Ultras right now. He has a bunch of Vipers as well, and... I kind of like the way that he plays. Ravagers are going to try to open up this angle. Perhaps for later run bys with Ling and Bane. Super battery immediately gets activated and will try to save that cannon. And the Ravagers decide to just rotate out. Perhaps going to the right side. Perhaps going back to their main army. To their, to their home base basically. We see a lot of spores are being added right now. Overall units lost is in favor of creator still. Um... But I really like the composition that Dark is going for at the moment. Very nice comp. Uh, I wouldn't mind if he gets rid of, rid of those Ravagers eventually and perhaps start adding a couple of Spores. But for now he seems to think that is not quite necessary. We see some denial of creep here coming out of Creator. And he's actually maybe going to be able to take out a... Nah, I don't think so. He needs to be careful as well, by the way, because... Wait, what got taken over? Oh, a couple of Void Rays try to go into the main base. Just get completely owned once again by this Burrowed Investor Squad. Very, very frustrating. Three more carriers are being built right now. <clears throat> with an Archon, with a bunch of Templar. A a simulation successful. As the final Void Ray gets taken out here. Uh, here come the Biles, here come the Biles. Don't forget, this army moves very slow in combination with something like a Fungal. Those could definitely hit... Oh, we see two of these bad boys being pulled back. Get assimilated into the Zerg army. These carriers don't do any damage whatsoever to these Ultras. Holy crap, Ultras have so much armor. And with all of these transfuses, it seems impossible to actually clear the Ultras before your Templars die. Now, perhaps putting the Templars in a prism can be a solution there. Perhaps should be the solution. But sticking with a pure carrier army is probably not going to be it. We see two 
extra robos being added will bring the total up to three and we see a robo bay on the way as well this base is extremely under defended a single run by would completely destroy that we see more spores on the way and for the first time in this game dark is actually up in the units lost he's taking his sixth base and he's expanding he's actually getting more drones as well and finally there comes that spire it's only a single one even though he has 2k 2k it's a little bit surprising to me but it is what it is missile attacks level one finishes 16 minutes into the game there's still uh is there still ravagers no ravagers are gone still 14 queens there this is what i was talking about this base was extremely under defended no walling going on no templar these paintings might even be able to get something done here get 13 workers in total a couple at that fourth base three more banelings try at least take out the cannons and every single time a move like this happens we see less and less static defense for creator losing that fifth base is painful because his natural is mining out his third is mining out his fourth uh, still looks relatively healthy i guess there's some mineral patches still going two of them are about to empty out the main is practically empty at this point 20 minerals and boom so he's working off of uh basically two bases at this point we see 1600 mineral income still has a little bit more gas of course only the one in the main has depleted so far here comes the changeling army the thing is i can't really see creator win a game or a fight here um with the army comp that he's currently working with that's a good disruptor shot though i do like that oh i do like that indeed here comes the i forgot the name the microbial shroud disruptors are doing not much of anything to be quite frank with you all good first shots though coming out of creator um who i think realizes that there's not a whole lot of anti-air here just none there's no no anti-air actually it's not not just not a whole lot of it there's just none anti-air is practically uh, non-existent here which is interesting because you you do tend to need that <laughs> one more fight like that would be good look at that still in favor of dark though second spire finally on the way as well this poor wall attempt to be taken out here comes a big disrupt wall hits a lot there um vipers actually forget to use any spells we're definitely in range we just didn't use anything we see another microbial shroud we see these ultras moving forward good micro coming out of creator here actually and dark seems to be a little bit uh, shocked by how good the micro is and hasn't actually done any moves here we go finally a fight lots of transfusers on one of these ultras disruptor shot moving forward it's two of the ultra list carriers are moving back we see a lot of microbial shroud being used but I mean, you're fighting with 12 queens against 16 carriers. The fact that it's even this close surprises me. There's no other anti-air. Look at these queens go with a microbial shroud just completely staying alive. What is this? These ultras are taking down all the ground units and... <laughs> the tier 3 capital ship of the Protoss struggling with the, the queen. 12 queens against 16 carriers. These just didn't kill anything. Lost a lot of interceptors there, but he's build, rebuilding them quickly. Now, the Corruptor transition to finally get some, some, some damage output in this army. The Ultra run, but I feel like that should have been a little bit faster already. Let's see what's going to be possible here. These Ultras will never die. That's just a fact. We see Microbial Shroud being used. We see the target fire with these carriers. Is the target fire going to be good enough? It's going to go for a Queen and Microbial Shroud. That probably isn't it. These, <laughs> these Ultras look so silly. 123 interceptors and the ultra just walks out <laughs> okay that was gonna go down this is so cool the armor of these zerg units is so freaking crazy a couple of overlords are gonna go down a creator is losing everything at home he has nothing to defend this so he's practically all in with this army here does he have detection here i'm not sure if the answer to that is yes i don't think it is even a couple of neural parasites are going down queens now are falling no microbial shroud anymore corruptors are not targeting the carriers instead they're targeting interceptors which usually isn't the correct call now we have corruptors moving forward 18 corruptors against 16 carriers is not a fight they want to take interceptor count went down to 97 is rebuilding rapidly though these ultras are still going in strong a couple of links being added into the mix as well 166 supply currently against 160 Ooh, single carrier gets recalled i mean that's not gonna do much of anything perhaps a super battery here could help uh make life a little bit easier we have two three two neural parasites here 
Um, is that gonna cost him anything? I am not sure. I like that he's not attacking the carriers here. He's like, I don't want to kill my own units and you don't seem to have enough. Uh, let me just focus other things. Very deliberate actions here. So all of his... Actually, all of his carriers stay alive. These... These sports are gonna... Wait, is this going to be a full-on base trade here? 150 supply against 129. We have a single carrier was defending at home. That one's gonna get sniped by those corruptors. I think we're actually moving into full-on base trade scenario and... I'm not even sure if if Creator can actually hold this. He does not have the static defense. He has no static defense. He has no workers. And there's still mining going on on the side of Dark. He can just keep building links and Ultras. And as we have seen, Ultralisks don't actually do anything. Creator realizes this. Or don't actually die. Creator realizes this and decides to GG. I, I can't really blame him. He had seven structures left. All of them over here. And he probably wouldn't even have been able to get there in time. Uh, where? I mean... Yeah, he, he was still over here, right? Yeah, all of his carriers here. But even if he was there at this point, the damage that, that carriers do... Look, every interceptor just does a single damage shot to these Ultralisks. That's how much how much armor they have and how bad interceptors are against them. And sure, there's a lot of interceptors, but it's still going to take a, like 5-6 seconds to take down a single Ultra. And... Yeah, that, that's just not going to be it. And then the Lynx also do a lot of damage, have very high damage output. So overall, pretty sick game by Dark, who realized, wait a second, I actually have no upgrades on my Corruptors. I need to do something else. Sends all of his Ling Ultra across the map and gets a pretty nice victory there. Now, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the like as well. And we'll see you next time for a new video. Bye-bye.